tail looks super intimidating. Are you sure it's not gonna fall off? <laughs> Don't worry. Our tribe works closely with stone. That's one of our symbols, actually. It's not going anywhere, I promise you. Many of our tribe's people love music and dance and have an amazing sense of rhythm. In the past, Outlanders have come here just to study our culture and exchange views. My parents wanted me to learn dance, but I wanted to become a warrior instead. Outlanders always seem to think of Ayo as my pet, but that's not the case at all. Ayo and I go on adventures together, but he also has a Saurian family and a place to stay of his own. Sometimes he even brings his entire family over to eat at our house. The children of Echoes have the closest ties to the Tepetli source, which are naturally very friendly to humans. That's how our relationship became what it is today. All Saurians have their own personalities, but I think calling them our companions pretty much sums it up. <laughs> See? Ayo agrees with me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> You're here too! No way! You have a Saurian companion too! Oh, what a sweet little thing! I think your friend here will get along with Ayo just fine. Alright, you two go have fun. I've got some important business to handle, and then I'll be right back. No mischief, okay? And you better not go leading your new friend astray, or I'm telling your parents. the most cherished and most sacred item in our tribe. It symbolizes the Wyab that protects us and grants us blessings. Wyab? Is that a god of some sort? Sort of. We believe the Wyab dwell beneath the earth, while the Pyro Archon hails from above. We hold regular gatherings here, actually. Our chief recounts and interprets dreams relating to our Wyab to decipher its will. The Wyab know the past and can foresee the future. Isn't that extraordinary? Huh. Kachina, what are you doing here? Chief! Oh, let me introduce you. This is Pakal, the chief of our tribe. Chief, these two just arrived in Natlin. They're super accomplished adventurers, and they're letting me stick by them so I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> Uh, uh, hello. Kachina is a child of our tribe. Her safety's my responsibility, so I'll just come out and say it. I don't know how you met her, but I'm gonna need you to prove your identity. Whoa, 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 whoa! There's no need for that, Chief. They're good people. I can feel it. Of 
feeling isn't going to satisfy your parents, Kachina. How about... Uh, we show you our adventurer handbook! It's where all our previous travels are recorded! Hmm... The people who belong to the Adventurer's Guild are kind of a mixed bag. I prefer something more reliable. Hmm... Huh. You're the Traveler! And your Paimon is familiar! Paimon is a guide! Jeez, these rumors are getting out of control! Well, okay, maybe this one's not that bad. It does make you seem super powerful and mysterious, Traveler. Wait, is there something special about those names? You haven't heard? Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Learn well from him, Kachina. It's unlikely you've ever had a teacher of greater merit. Really? To earn that kind of praise from the chief? You guys must be even stronger than I thought! Apologies for not trusting your word. Oh, don't worry about it. You were just doing your duty. Well, Kachina's still young, so you can never be too careful. As for you, Kachina, isn't registration about to close? Why haven't you headed out yet? Don't worry, Chief. I told my teammates to go ahead. I'll catch up with them in a bit. I may not be much of a fighter, but I am quick on my feet. <laughs> Kachina's trying not to worry him, huh? I see. Well, I... I hope I wasn't interrupting anything just now. If I did, just tell me where you left off, and I might be able to help with the explanations. Let me think. I told them about the Lyab, so now's the perfect time to dive into ancient names. Good thing you're here, Chief. I don't think I could explain it very well. Oh, right! That word kept popping up in our conversation earlier. So what does it mean exactly? Well, Natlan is a nation of heroes whose valiant deeds are preserved and passed down over time in the form of stories. You can think of an ancient name almost like a label for these stories. By mentioning an ancient name, we remind ourselves of the epic sagas of heroes past. For example, the most famous bearer of my ancient name fought in 27 Night Warden Wars. By the time he fought in his last one, he was already over 60 years old. Even though he wasn't quite where he used to be physically speaking, he still managed to achieve top rankings during the pilgrimage. Impressive, right? Ancient names allow us to preserve the stories of the past, but they're also much more than that. Think of an ancient name almost like an heirloom passed down from generation to generation. Do you have your stone on you, Kachina? Of course! Here, take a look. Whoa, that black stone looks so mysterious. It's like there's something shiny inside it. The Wyab decide who is deserving of inheriting an ancient name. Once a successor is selected, the name becomes theirs to bear, and their deeds are then preserved within it. As time passes, ancient names come to represent the heroic deeds of more and more bearers, and their value becomes even more profound. In turn, the accomplishments preserved within it serve as an inspiration for the next generation of successors. Just like me. <laughs> I'm still not sure why our Wyab chose me of all people. But if I didn't know the stories of all the past heroes, how they never stopped fighting, I probably would have given up a long time ago. Then you're saying this stone doesn't have any actual power? Like it's not gonna make Paimon super strong or smart? None at all. And that is precisely how it exercises its unique value. Think of it this way. If you become a hero because the heavens granted you strength, are your triumphs earned or given? Oh, Paimon gets it! If people start to ask those kinds of questions, the stories suddenly become a lot less inspirational. Someone had this to say about ancient names. Our forebearers carved miracles into obsidian rock, yet future bearers looked upon them and saw strength. The miracles of the past become the motivations of the present. The limitations of the past become the breakthroughs of today. That's more or less the gist of it. So there's no rush, Kachina. 
Many people struggle to understand the Wyab's judgment after receiving an ancient name. As long as you never stop trying to improve your abilities and surpass yourself, your time will come. Thank you, Chief. I'll get it together, just you watch. Well, uh, it's getting late. I've got to get to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Oh, uh, right. I'm not sure where you're headed, but mind taking a detour with me? Is that where the pilgrimage is taking place? Yep. And outside of competition season, it's the place where our intertribal gatherings are held. Of course. She's the most important figure in the entire event. Sounds like a plan, then. Let's go! Well, if the Traveler and Paimon are with you, then I don't need to worry about your safety. Be on your way now. All right, we're off. See you later, Chief. I got so carried away just now, I didn't consider what would happen if our destinations were different. Luckily, that's not the case. Or... Well, I guess we just have to meet up after the tournament. You sure it's okay you didn't tell the Chief about your team? <sighs> chief McCall's a really nice guy. If he knew the truth, he might even ask to join me. But he's not as young as he used to be. And he's got some old injuries that still bother him. He's not cut out for any more attempts. He'll find out what really happened when he sees me compete. I'm sure I'll get an earful for lying, but this is for the best. Yeah, your teammates left you high and dry and you made sure they didn't feel guilty about it. It's not their fault, really. The pilgrimage is extremely important to the people of Natlan. We all grow up listening to stories about the heroes of the past and dream of becoming warriors with the strength to defend our nation. Not out of a selfish desire for glory, but to lend our strength to a greater cause. Anyway, don't worry about it for now. Once you witness the spectacle for yourself, maybe it'll all start to make more sense. It'll also be a great opportunity to experience our culture and history. Alright, time to leave our settlement. Let's head that way. Our last stop, the Statue of the Seven, is also in that direction. Let's go! is so pretty. Is that what the Pyro Archon is like? You betcha. Beautiful, effortlessly confident, and absolutely awesome. It didn't work when you tried earlier either. Now we know that wasn't a fluke. What's going on here? Huh? You can get elemental power from the Statue of the Seven? This would have been such a good opportunity to show Katina how impressive you are. It's so weird that it's not working. There must be something about Natlan. Aw, I would have liked to see that. Sorry, Katina. We got your hopes up for nothing. No, no, it's all right. If anything, I'm even more curious now. Were you really able to gain elemental powers just by touching the Statue of the Seven? That's something only vision bearers can use. C could you show me? Only if you want to, I mean. No pressure. Take it away, traveler!
Nope. Still just Geo. Anyway, I was right! You really are something special! Just wait until you hear about our previous adventures! Ooh! What's that? Cuckoo soar. They fly high and fast, and they're always full of energy. Right? It's been ages since that day we first saw Devalin. We've come so far. Oh, before I forget, we've got a pretty long trek ahead of us, so here, take this. They look like shiny little gems, don't they? Don't be fooled, though. <laughs> it's actually candy. My mom made them. I always bring a few when I know I'm going to be out and about for a while. A little boost of sugar can really come in handy in a pinch. Woo! Paimon loves candy! Thanks! My pleasure, my pleasure! I've got all sorts of bits and bobs on me. I'm sure they'll come in handy at some point. <laughs> 